you know, defensively, we just weren't doing things that we wanted to do and stuff that we normally do. You know, we just weren't competing at a high level like we usually do. So it's a bit disappointing on on our side. But of course, you know, Montana came out and you know, knocked us in the knocked us in the mouth. Kind of, you know, they played really, really well, and uh, all, all credit to them. I think you had the game tying shot in regulation, the tying shot in overtime, and the winning shot in double overtime. What what was it about this game that you just weren't going to let your team lose? I think I said it sometime a couple of months ago. You know, it's. Uh, this year, I just want to win. Whatever I need to do, I just want to win games. I, I don't want to. I don't want to go. I don't know. Last year we, we had a decent year, but I don't want to go out like that. Um, you know, just do whatever it takes to win those games. So you know, whether it's scoring, passing, rebounding, whatever it takes, defending. Anthony you mentioned maybe the defensive effort wasn't there what you wanted, but I guess in the possession that really, really mattered, you guys did play good defense. You know, just your thoughts on that, being able to force that shot clock violation, and then obviously you guys won with, with off of that. I mean, we've been working on it the last four or five months. That's like been our, our key our key thing we've been working on. So when we do it, we're a hell of a team because, you know, we've got the offense, offensive down, offensive part down. But, you know, when we play defensively, we're, we're, we're a good team. So we just need to, we need to bring that for 40 minutes or 55 minutes, whatever we play. Nick, what's what's the confidence level the team has in Anthony late in the game like that when, you know, when, when he takes a big shot to know that he's going to come through? I mean, yeah, I think it just comes from practice. The team, you know, is such a competitor in practice, and all he wants to do is win. So, I mean, in practice, he shows that he's the guy to go to, and I mean, that's what we did in the games. I mean, why, why go away from that? So, all credit to Jimmy for his shots and stuff, and all his hard work he's done on the off season. But yeah, we got full confidence in Jimmy down the stretch of the games. Um, obviously, when he got fired like that in the fadeaway three at the end to equalize it, but um, yeah, all credit to Jimmy and you know all his hard work. Nick, Anthony, even with uh, all this added size, they you know, still got you around the floor late in the game and playing big off of it. Nick, that was any sort of one? Yeah, that ball was uh, when I was in midair. I was like, uh, it's going to be a nasty one. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, playing the four late in the game because we have we have so many guards that we can we can switch on defense, you know, and that definitely helps when when they're running just handoffs and screens. You know, it's easier when you got four. Agile, quick guys to just switch off the ball. So that's that was kind of the game plan towards the end. Nick talked about those questionable fouls are kind of crazy time. About 13 minutes I think left in the in the game. Yeah, I mean that's my fault. I mean the coach has been on me a lot. You know I'm a bit of a competitor and a bit stubborn at times, and you know don't take uh, you know the calls right with coach. So he's definitely been on me before you know, the last couple of games and in practice and stuff. And I mean I let I let my temper get the best of me there. But um, yeah, I mean that's that's the game and. Um, yeah, I just got to work on that, you know, individually and, you know, come back next time and just, you know, cool down a little bit. With so many close games that, that did not go your way last year, you hope this is kind of a sign of things to come. Maybe it's going to be reversed this year? Uh, hopefully. I mean, you never know with basketball. That's that's the one thing I say. The ball bounces differently a couple of ways and you win or you lose. But, um, you know, these close games are fun to be a part of. But, um, yeah, hopefully we win all of them. Anthony, did Montana do anything that surprised you? Anything that shocked you coming out in the first second half? Uh, no, they just they played very very hard. You know, we were expecting that, and that's what they did. And they they kept with us. And you know, like I said, all credit to them. They played a really good game. They had a good game plan. Um, they were driving the ball really well and knocking down shots. What kind of Nathan, what kind of kept you guys going? I mean, you know, early on, I mean, there was a stretch where you guys didn't score for six minutes, and you know, you had to keep playing catch up. You guys were never quite able to get a lead, and you had to keep getting to get tied and stuff like that. What kind of kept you guys going despite the fact that you weren't getting on top? I mean, we just wanted to keep playing, obviously. Um, you know, defense, it all starts with defense. Um, you know, with, with our offense, we have confidence in it that it's just we're going to get scores, you know. We, you know, we don't usually get shut out or shut down very often. So, you know, when, you, when you're not scoring, if you keep playing defense, it doesn't matter because that means they're not scoring either. So that's kind of the key thing we'll focus on. Hey, when you went into the locker room after it fell, what was the process and the procedures you went through back there? Uh, uh, Tyler Smith, our trainer, just kind of checked it out, rubbed a lot of uh, the deep heat into it. And then, um, yeah, just kind of said, you got 30 seconds to fix me up, and I'm going back out there. So that was it. I'm sure a lot of the fans were already looking to, to Saturday night's game against Wisconsin. What was kind of your guys' mindset trying to stay focused on this one? And now that you do have the win, uh, your, your thoughts going on, going there on Saturday? It's going to be a tough game. Uh, I've watched them play a little bit, and they're a really, really good team. I know they defensively they're one of the better teams, holding teams to 30, 40 points. So. Um, tomorrow we'll, we'll uh, show up to practice and uh, we'll get a game plan together and uh, we'll fly out there Friday and we'll see what we can do. Were you guys, you know, 100% focused on, on Montana? I mean, how, what was it like these couple of days on knowing kind of that game was coming up next? Yeah, no, we are 100% focused on Montana. I think fatigue maybe a little bit from the doubleheader on the weekend kind of let us 
down a little bit, but I mean that's not an excuse. We just got to show up every day to practice and uh, you know play hard, play hard on game day. Anthony, do you expect to play on Saturday? Everything feels good enough. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Coach Rice would not let me play. So. Nick, what does it say about this team to kind of rally back after kind of everything that happened in this game? I think it uh, shows back on you know the summer we've had and you know we've had a lot of exercises. And, you know, programs we've done and, you know, a lot of hard practices. So, you know, that's what we felt, fell back on, um, you know, when coming down, you know, in the overtimes and the timeouts, you know, we've done so much over the summer and, you know, we can't we can't lose this game. Like, we've done so much work and we just can't lose the game on, on what we've done. So, you know, I, I think we need to focus on that more and, you know, be, be, be more of a team and come together and, you know, look back on the times of the summer and how hard that was for us, you know, personally, but also as a team. And we've got to fall back on that and, you know, at the start of the games more than more so at the end. Nick. Both of you guys, you guys played 12 guys in the first half. You've done that both the games before. What's it like playing with that many guys? Does it hurt your rhythm? Does it help? What's it feel like? No, I mean, it's good. When those, I mean, when you got guys coming in with energy and they're playing hard, that, that, that just helps your team tremendously. You look at the teams that make runs into the tournament. When you got guys that can sub in and there's no drop off, then your team your team's great. But... You know, that, that, that's something that we need to obviously work on and those guys need to focus in because they need to know that when they come in, they need to, they need to be fine. You tied Roberto Burgess tonight, uh, your sixth on the all-time scoring list. Roberto's kind of a voicing basketball legend. You ever had the opportunity to meet him and how does it feel to move up to sixth? Uh, I don't think I have and right now it's really not that important. <laughs> you know, just happy to get the win for tonight and then move on to Saturday and focus on this one. Is that what you're going to say when you become two? Pretty much. Yeah. Just yeah. stop asking yeah. me to the end of the season. <laughs> <laughs>